welcome back to the shed. Um, right, what I've got is a piece of beech pallet wood. And it's got some nice um, spalting in it. So it may be a nice piece inside. It's typical pallet wood, uh, just over three inches at one end and three and nine sixteenths the other end. So it is, it is tapered and it's seven and a half inches long. What I want to do is I want to make a little um, trinket box, a little lidded box. And in the lid I want to um, insert some milliput uh, to see what it looks like. The, the milliput that I want to use is this silver grey. It's the only colour I've not used up to now. So that's my project, a little trinket box with the insert, milliput insert on the lid. So let's go over to the lathe and uh, make a start. Right, we've got the um, spindle blank securely between centres. Everything's locked down tight and I'm going to now turn this into a cylinder. Um, I'll be using a spindle roughing gouge. So we'll start this up, stand clear. Eight fifty, that's fine, it's not vibrating. Face mask on. The vacuum system starting. Right, um, that's, that's okay for now, it's, it's smooth but um, it won't finish in later. So the next thing to do is to get a parting tool and um, straighten the end off here and put a tenon on. We'll have to do the same on both ends. So now uh, we've got it into a cylinder and we've got a tenon on both ends. All I'm going to do now is that can stay for the time being and these two I'm going to cut through nearly all the way through and then I'll finish them with a little saw. So we'll just cut them through now. Okay, this is just a small um, tenon saw. I'll take this piece off first. And we're through. Just get all of it. Right. 
So now that's going to be the lid. We'll just work this out and put that into the uh, chuck. And this piece, obviously this is going to be the box. So when we turn this round, I'll just cut that through and take this away. Right, get this piece into the jaws. So we've got the lid in the chuck now. Um, it's a bit too thick for my likings, but we'll sort that out later. The first thing I'm going to do is hollow it out slightly and make a mark where I want the recess or the mortise and um, start shaping this up. So we'll do that now. Well that's about as deep as I want to go with the lid, with the recess. Um, the next thing I'll do is I'll mark it off for um, where I want to cut it off. Okay, well that's our um, Two coats of sand and sealer with a um, rubbing of double uh, wire wool in between each one, and then um, after that I used Yorkshire grit uh, pasting compound, and um, then a clear wax on top of that. So that it looks quite nice actually, feels lovely. So I'll move on now to the um, separating the lid and the this back piece. So we have the body in now, um, this is the lid, these two pieces, when I put the pattern into this piece it will be glued back onto that piece and this will form the lid. So the next thing you know is to put the tongue or the tenon on this piece to accept the lid. So we'll do that now. And this is just a case now of trial and error. We have to just keep going till we've got it right.
that is a nice tight fit um, by the time I sand that a little bit that will be spot on so I'll just leave that there for the time being just straighten this face up a bit <clears throat> For the time being, I need a tight fit. So, the next thing for me to do is to get it into one level across the uh, body and the lid. For the time being, that's okay. I can still, I still have enough room to work the outside a bit later on when I put the final piece on here. So, and I still have enough room to work it. I left myself quite thick on the lip of the lid, if you remember. Right, we'll move on to the inside now of the body. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is. Um, give myself a depth hole. I've got a, a drill bit with some tape marked where I want to go to. I've got the um, speed down about 450 at the moment. So we're just going to plunge it in. And that's my depth hole right back to here. So the next thing is we start um, to hollow the bowl out. That looks okay. We'll go to about that. You see how punky this uh, wood is um, with the spalting. It makes it quite hard to get a nice finish cut. Okay, I hope you can uh, see that okay. It's really nice inside. Um, it's the same again, two coats of sand and sealer with a double O double O wire wool between each one, um, Yorkshire grit, and uh, wood wax 22. Um, it's really nice, it's uh, like a, a nice lush um, sheen in there now, really smooth. So that's the inside of the body of the box finished. So this is the lid extension, it's all ready now. It has the pattern on, there's blue painters tape and then the pattern is glued onto that and then there's cellar tape over the lot. So we'll take it over to the drill press now and we'll drill out the entry holes to accept the scroll saw blade.
that's the Celtic knot finished and sanded up uh, I think it looks okay I hope you can see it I'll just change that background for you there yeah so all we have to do now is um, here's the lid is simply glue the lid extension onto the lid we'll do that and that's that's all I can do for this evening so I'll get that done now we've now got all the milli put in and it's all gone hard it's solid now so it's a case of um, cutting it back what I'm going to do is on the front edge here I'm going to start with a, um, a 3 8 ball gouge and just shear scrape it across just nice and gently just bring it across um, until I've got it right back down and then we can start sanding earlier I said I wanted a tight fit and this is the reason it's a nice tight fit and I've got some electrical tape around the uh, the joint of the lid and the body just for extra security then once it's all finished I will separate it clean everything up and sand the tenon down a little bit so the lid fits nicely So, I'll just touch that one more time and then it's ready for sanding. I'll just carry on and um, all I'm going to do now is be sanding polishing. I'll just give this one more pass with a nice sharp um, negative rig scraper and then we can get it finished. That's it uh, folks, that's the project finished. A little trinket box with a Celtic knot milli put insert and the lid um, there's the lid and the bottom's quite nice uh, I put two rings of the milli put in the top one was just to hide the joint where I glued the top piece back onto the lid and the bottom one just to say that it's it's one piece um, the grain in the wood is it once you've cut it like this you'll never get it to line up again exactly but it looks right that's that's the main thing uh, the lid's not tight anymore because I've seen to that on the inside uh, yeah it's uh, it's not too bad at all I'm quite happy with it the I think the silver grey milliput might look better on a darker piece of wood though um, and the little couple of little snags I had with it was on the inside of the bowl trying to get it finished with all that spalting the wood was so um, put piffy um, I got it in the end with a little uh, half inch round nose scraper just turned it over into like shear scraping mode and just worked away at it until I got it right and the same on the scroll saw when I had the um, pattern on the scroll saw, the blade wanted to dance into the softwood rather than staying on the line of the pattern, so to do a little bit of sand in there. All in all, um, it's not bad. What I'll do is I'll put a couple of stills up um, at the end and let you have a look. I'd like to say um, thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, fa absolutely fantastic and Welcome and thank you to all the new subscribers. And if I could just say hi to a lady, um, a Scouse lady from uh, Kirkdale, Mary. She's over in New York, living over there now. So hi, Mary. Um, that's about it, folks. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all soon. So bye for now. Yeah.